Hey everybody, it's Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So I'm coming to you today with the September market report. Okay, so what we're seeing right now in the market, we're seeing things starting to normalize is what I would call it. We've got some people thinking that the bottom is gonna drop out of the market. That is not the case. This is not 08, 09 um, all over again. We still have demand for housing uh, right now. Like I said, it's just normalizing. Things are starting to slow down a little bit. But at the end of the day, this is actually a good thing for the overall market, you guys, and here's why. When the market was crazy and we were having multiple offers on every single house, uh, you know, uh, FHA and VA, and, and VA buyers, they couldn't even buy a house. So this is a good thing right now for, for those buyers. They can actually now buy. And so since that first time home buyer market truly creates what's, what I call a trickle up, you know, so the first time home buyers then go to the move up, then sometimes it's that secondary move up, then onto the luxury house. Well, now that we have more buyers that can actually buy and can compete and win deals, that's gonna help move things along. Things are just slowing down some, but it's still a strong market, um, whether or not you're a buyer or a seller, because the fact that we do still see houses moving, it's just slowing down a little bit. So I'm still gonna say buy now so you can start building equity. And then next year, when most of the experts are saying that the rates will come back down, you just simply do a refi. You know, I, I mean, it, people do this all the time. Um, so anyways, so there's kind of my quick little spiel on where we're at as far as the market goes. Um, so overall, for in August compared to September, we had, so we had 867 units close in August. Um, in September, we had 779. That was down about 8%. And here's the reason. This is going to be pretty consistent through all the price points that I'm going to talk about. So these are closed units and when they actually did close. So people are buying typically either in June or July and then closing in August to get into school. Okay. So that's, so that's why we'll see numbers down in September. Um, so now our prices went from uh, average sale price of about $340,500 to about three twenty-seven. dollars um, from August to September, which is down about 4%. Again, we see some lower inventory or some lower units being moved. Um, you know, and so then what happens is the houses sit a little longer and then prices do come down a bit. So that's the overall market. And this is for existing construction only, not new construction. Okay, so then I like to uh, talk about what I call them the first time home buyer price point, and that's zero to $300,000. So in August, we had 471 units closed at an average sale of about 223,000. In September, we had 431 units closed, uh, which is down about eight and a half percent compared to August um, for an average sale of about 222. So dr very stable, dropped literally 0.3%. Um, so again, that's, but that was still good, uh, uh, good numbers for that first time home buyer market closing in September, you know, over 400, um, you know, in the month of September closed, uh, citywide. So then our next segment that we like to talk about is the 300 to 650 range. August, we had 351 units closed. September, we had 311, which was down about 11%. And we went from 417,000 down to about 403. So this market. Uh, is moving pretty much because, or, or moving downward, I would say, because in that move up price point, you're going to have some some houses that are dated. You're going to have, you know, uh, wallpaper, brass fixtures, um, just things like that. And so there's good opportunities in that price point if you're a buyer, because like I said, that's, you know, that dropped 3.3% in one month. So that's definitely a market to keep your eye on, okay? Um, then the next segment I like to talk about is what I call the luxury market. That's 650,000 and above. So August, we had 45 units closed. September, we had 37 units closed, down about 18%. We went from an average sale price of about 973,000 down to an average sale price of about 920,000. So down about five and a half percent. That also doesn't surprise me when our markets start to slow down, the luxury market um, you know, usually takes a hit first. Um, but they also will rebound once the interest rates start to tick back down. Um, nobody really knows when that's going to happen, but it's going to happen at some point. So again, that's why buy the house now and then refi after the rates do go back down. Um, so 
really, you know, that's what's going on, guys, is, you know, the, the interest rates that have moved, we have the uncertainty in the overall economy, and a lot of that is because of the inflation. So, you know, people are just kind of, you know, sitting on the sidelines, kind of just waiting to see what happens. But again, go out and buy so you can start building that equity and then refi when the rates come down. So um, if you guys have any questions, obviously there's no obligation, but put my almost 24 years uh, of experience and knowledge to work for you. If you're thinking about buying or selling, we're definitely here to help you. Please follow me on social media and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.